Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Tara Arnold and today I'm going to consciously channel Ascended Master Saint Germain as he brings in tips for quantum jumping and raising our vibration with this April 20th Jupiter Uranus conjunction. There's new frequencies coming onto the planet. So this is a great time to manifest and get into a high vibration. Before we begin, I just want to share some new exciting news that our How to Trans Channel Masterclass is now available as a pre-recorded video. You can learn and watch it at your own pace. This is available in English as well as Spanish. So if you'd like to learn how to trans channel, you came to the right place. I will put the link in the description below and our website is actually written on my shirt. So thanks for joining us today. I'm going to get started. So the first thing that Saint Germain is showing me is that the energy frequencies that are coming onto the planet for April 20th with the Jupiter Uranus conjunction, that it's a great time to manifest. It's a great time to create what we desire in our reality. So he's bringing in some tips and exercises that we can do to increase our vibrational frequency and tap into the timeline that we would like to create in our reality by quantum jumping. So he's going to explain a little bit about the quantum jumping. He's showing me that fifth dimension isn't a place we're going, it is a state of consciousness. So we are in this now moment in fifth dimension and everything around us is going to change rather than us going out and getting it when you quantum jump you stay where you are and the world around you or your reality around you changes so you can do your visualizations of quantum jumping into different parallel timelines to receive and achieve the desire that you're wanting to create in your reality because it's all everything's happening now like everything's happening in this now moment so the past is happening now the future's happening now our past lifetimes are happening now our childhood's happening now everything's happening now so when you quantum jump you're just tapping into a parallel timeline to the frequency that you would wish to create and then it collapses back into this now moment but the reality that you're in in third dimension it starts to change around you rather than you going somewhere. So he's showing me that examples on planet Earth of that are that the animals around us, they're living in the same world, but their perception of their world is extremely different than the humans' perceptions. So I know as humans, we are animals, but he's saying the animals in nature, they're living in the same place as us, but their world is extremely different. They're creating a total different reality. And this is happening as well with humans. They can live two different realities at the same time. So if you look at educated people or uneducated people, they're living in the same world, but their worlds are totally different perceptions. If you're wealthy or if you're poor, we're all living on the planet. There's some people that are really wealthy and there's some people that are the extreme opposite to that. And they're creating the reality in the same world, but it's totally different. So you can see how it's already happening based on where you're vibrating at. So if you want to create in fifth dimension and quantum jump and it's that the world around you is going to change. You're not going anywhere. It's not a place we go. It's a state of consciousness. So there are different worlds happening around us all at the same time with everybody's in a different reality in their perception. So it based on where we're vibrating at. So if you picture a radio and we're all on a different radio station all the other radio stations are still on. They're playing all at the same time, but it's just a different frequency. So if your frequency is in this radio station of 97.5 AM and your neighbor's frequency is 94.2 FM, then they are still living in their reality, but they are living in a total different reality a total different perception in their reality, but it's all playing at the same time. If you turn the knob on the radio station, you can see that all the radio stations don't shut off when you play yours. They're all continuing to play. Or if you watch TV, there's other TV shows that are playing at the same time on different stations. That's what it is like to be in fifth dimension when everybody else is in third dimension. So the re reality around you starts to change. And I'll give you some examples of my own, 
how I've changed it in my reality um, so that you can see what I mean. It's like if there's a storm going on and it's um, crazy snow, in our reality, the snowstorm doesn't bury our car or it doesn't bury our barbecue or our heat pump. It just, the snowstorm came in and built snow like a wall around our house and we didn't really have to shovel barely at all. Like it didn't go near anything that we needed to shovel out. But then our neighbors, their cars were getting buried with snow. They had to dig out their cars. Their cars were covered. Their decks were covered. Their roof, they were shoveling off the roof and we didn't get any snow on our roof. And it just built a wall of snow around our house, but we didn't have to shovel anything. It just kind of blew that way. And that was us being in fifth dimension with a storm going on around us, it didn't affect us like it affected all our neighbors. And it's the same with every storm. It's all the neighbors, their power will go out during the hurricane and our power will stay on. Or the other houses that were the same size as ours tipped over in the hurricane and ours just slightly moved off the foundation a little bit but it didn't tip when everybody else is like they lost their roofs or their house tipped over so it's like you can be in the middle of the chaos but in a fifth dimension it's it's kind of like he shows me it's like the eye of the storm is like calm and so you're that calm while all the chaos is going on around you if you want to start to get into high vibration, he's bringing in some ideas of how we could do that. So first thing he's showing me is if you begin to picture the life that you're in in this now moment as a live movie or a live film. So you're the main actor and main character in your film. And if you visualize like in this moment, in this now moment, I'm live and I'm being filmed it's an exciting feeling of being on camera, of making a movie, of having a show, and you're the main character. And that in itself gets you into a high vibration of being the star of your show. And then if you visualize that your past or your future is pre-recorded, so they're like pre-recorded videos. So if you go to the past, and it's a pre-recorded video that you've already seen many times, it's getting boring. The vibration's kind of stagnant. It's been replayed over and over. So if you have a memory back in childhood, you say, oh, that's my pre-recorded video. I don't want to stay in the pre-recorded video. That's already happened. I'm going to move up to the now video, now timeline where I am the star of the show and the, the cameras are on me and I'm walking through life. And just visualize like when you're walking, say that you go out for a walk in nature, visualize that you're being filmed and that you're the star of the show and you're walking and having a good time and in a high vibration. And if you go into a store and you go shopping, visualize being filmed. Oh, I'm having a live action film right now of me shopping and how exciting is that? So anything that you do, if you put the intention, oh, I'm live right now, it creates this feeling of newness. It creates a feeling of a high vibration because everything's new. I'm making a new movie of my life. I'm in current time filming action film. Like it raises it up. Like every time we go see a new movie, we get excited, something's new. So get into the feeling of newness. We're making a new film. We're making a new recording. So you're filming as if you're live and as if you're live having the abundance that you're seeking. So if it's a life partner that you want, you would just visualize that I already have that and I'm having the movie of my life. I'm going shopping today and I'm going to get stuff to make for my me and my life partner for dinner tonight and we're being filmed live and this is an exciting new show. I just started dating them and just get into the feeling of this is my reality. What I desire is already in my reality. Or if you would like a lot of wealth, it's getting into that feeling like when you go shopping feel like you're you can buy anything and I'm filming this live and I can buy anything I want and get into that feeling of being 
live on camera with what you are desiring. So that gets you into the vibration and then it taps into that timeline, that parallel timeline that that frequency exists in already and it collapses back into this reality. So another way to get your vibration high is Saint Germain showing me that a lot of you will say I am wealthy or I am happy or I am abundant or I am joy. But sometimes there's a program running subconsciously that, that you have the opposite belief. So if you say I am wealthy but you do not have a lot of money and there's a belief running that you're not wealthy and there's a lot of programs from your past that you're not wealthy, then it just, the universe responds to your frequency. It doesn't respond to your words or your actions. It responds to your frequency at a core level. So to override the belief that you don't want that program, you don't want running, if you add the word no into the middle of I am, then it will, override the belief. So what he's showing me is that if you say, I know I am wealthy, all of a sudden the subconscious hears a new belief. It says, oh, you know something. Wait a minute, let me start programming that. And so if you say, I know I am wealthy, or I know I am happy, I know I am joy, I know I have my life partner that I desire, I know that I'll great things come to me. I know that I'm amazing. I know that I'm going to get hired for my dream job. So when you add the word I know, the subconscious has no reasoning. All it knows is what we tell it. It starts to believe it. So start adding the word I know because knowing something overrides any belief. That's what Saint Germain is showing me. He's like, if you just add I know, then that's what get the program that gets run. That's what the subconscious will start to, to integrate. So knowing something creates the belief. So as you add the words, I know to what you desire to manifest, it begins to change in your reality because your subconscious programs that it says, okay, I know this is real in my reality. I know this to be true in my reality. I know that this is going to happen and it starts to get created. So if you start with something small, something easy, like everywhere I go, I know I'm going to have the best parking space. Everywhere I go, I know that I'm gonna have the best parking space with money already in the meter. Everywhere I go, I know that the universe is going to arrange it so that I have the best parking space. They're going to move the cars to give me the best parking space. I know this a hundred percent. So see how I, I, you're changing it from, I believe this to, I know this because you don't need to have the belief. It doesn't matter what any of the beliefs were before that. If you believe that you never get the best parking space that gets overridden by the word I know, and it happens fast. So just Saint Germain showing me, it's like, say, I know I have the best parking space and then just watch the universe part the way so that you always get the best parking space. Create that and then move into something else that's, you know, I know that I won the lottery or something, but start with something small so that you can see how easy it is and how quickly it can work. So I know is now the vibrational frequency that I keep applying. And as soon as I say it, it's just like happening fast. So this is what the information he brought in a few weeks ago and I've been like using that and it's changed a lot of things in my reality. So you can try that and see what results you get right in the comment section below if there's anything you wanna share with it. So another way is showing me that sometimes we'll lower our vibration and create the opposite of what we desire without realizing it is if we do something with a partner. So nobody can create your reality, but sometimes you'll assign things or somebody will be assigned to, on your behalf to do something in your reality. So this could be like a business partner, you're sharing a business or a husband and wife, you have to share duties of the household. And so one partner will go do something and another partner will do something else. And it's like a shared experience um, and uh, helping each other out. 
if you're assigning the partner to an activity or if their partner assigns you to an activity or if you guys decide together that you'll do this one job and this other person will do the other job and they're not enjoying that experience, then they're creating a frequency of a low vibration. So if one partner in the business, for example, doesn't like change and they see it as a negative, they see it as um, something that's gonna cause a problem. I don't like change and if we make a change in our business, then it's going to be a huge problem in our reality and all the customers are gonna get upset and then they begin to create that. If they're sending out, say that they're sending out a message and an advertisement of a new shoe like they have a shoe factory and they've created the shoe and it's been amazing this new shoe has sold all over the world and everybody's loved it and it's been 10 years and everybody is um, really obsessed with these shoes and then all of a sudden the business starts to drop because people get bored of the product they now want a new shoe and the other business partner says oh i've created a new shoe so I'm going to advertise that. I love change. I'm excited about change. Change puts me into high vibration. I know that any kind of change in our business is just going to open up doors and all the abundance is going to flow in. And so I'm going to create this new shoe. I'm going to advertise that, but I'm busy right now. So I'll get my partner to advertise it. And so the, the person that created the shoe that is excited about change that puts them in high vibration, ask the business partner, do you mind, uh, um, putting this out there, email everybody and put the advertisements out that we're having this change in our business. And you just hand, the part of the business over to the person who hates change, who sees change as a problem, who sees if they make a change in the business that all the customers are gonna be angry, then all of a sudden they put out the advertisement of the new shoe with the vibrational frequency of, I hate change, it's gonna cause a problem. But if you were the one that had emailed it out, if you were the one that had posted the advertisement, you're putting in the energy of, this shoe is amazing. It's going to create abundance. Everybody's going to love it. I love change. And when change happens, doors open. So the difference is, is that when it got sent out, it went sent out with a vibrational frequency of it being a problem rather than the other way. So if you have a husband or a wife, one of them hates shopping and one of them loves shopping, if the person that hates shopping goes shopping, they're going to run into problems. They can't find the, the items that are on the list. They, everything's expensive. The prices have been raised. They get in line and they have to wait for an hour. And so everybody's running late because the grocery store was crowded or the store was crowded. And then they come home and they're grumpy and there's all this anger put into the food that they bought at the grocery store because every time they picked up an item, the vibrational frequency of hate of shopping went into the item. And then you cook with that. And then there's this vibrational frequency of hate in the item and then the food tastes bad or something's expired that they bought. But if the person in the relationship that loves shopping went shopping, they would have a totally different experience. So they would go in and the prices on things that were more expensive and have now been lowered today. And they're excited about this experience. And so they get all these great deals and the food's fresh. It's all freshly made. Nothing's expired. There's no lineup. So it's the same reality, but there's two different perceptions. The person that has a perception of something being amazing is going to create amazing things in their reality. They're going to land in a fifth dimension perception and the world around them is going to change to match that frequency. So if you have a partner or a child or a husband or wife, a spouse, business partner, coworker, when you're delegating, 
putting the assignment to the person that's in the highest vibration might be for your highest good because then that will get created in the reality. So that's another way that we can be conscious of how we're creating in a reality. So the times that you ask somebody to do something for you or somebody's helping you with something, just check in and say, you know, who, who in this relationship is in a high vibration about this idea or about this activity. So thanks for joining us today and we will see you next time.